Last week might have been the most important week of this year for consumer laptops. Apple announced its new Moan chip, which, if the company's claims about performance gains are to be believed, could redefine our expectations for laptop processors. But there's another release this week that will usher in a big change for Mac users, Mac OS Big Sur. Like the Moan chip, Big Sur is a step in Apple's efforts to cohere its user experience across devices. Many of its new features will be familiar to owners of iPhones and iPads. It's playing catch up to iOS. Big Sur through a series of minor tweaks and refinements absolutely achieves the goal of making macOS look and feel more similar to iOS than it ever has before. Whether all of those features are as useful on a computer as they are on an iPhone is another question. The headline feature is the redesign. The whole OS has a new look, which Apple says is its biggest design update to its desktop operating system since the debut of OS X. The company has made a number of tweaks that will sound small on paper but add up to an aesthetic that's friendlier, more modern, and much closer to iOS. For example, the dock icons for Apple's apps now all have the same round and square shape. Windows have rounder corners now as well, as do other elements like menus, checkboxes, dialog boxes, and sliders. A number of apps also have new icons that look like their iOS 14 icons. Music is now the white eighth notes on a red background. Mail is the white envelope on a blue background. The Safari compass has been placed on a white background, etc. I do not have strong opinions on icon shapes, though I'm sure many people do. The old ones were fine, the new ones are fine, too. Overall, though, they contribute to a new, distinctly iPhone Y look and feel. A lot of Safari's tweaks are also a catch-up effort. For example, you can now customize the start page with a background image, shortcuts of your choosing, and other sections. I wouldn't call this the most useful part of Big Sur but it does make the experience feel more personal and cuts into the lead that Chrome previously had when it came to customizability. Of course, the biggest advantage is a Mac OS Big Sur will be seen on Apple's new ARM-based Macs. Apple emphasized that Big Sur is optimized for its own processors, and it says you will see this compatibility reflected everywhere from performance to battery life. In particular, the OS comes with an emulation layer called Rosetta 2, which will ensure that apps created for Intel machines work on ARM Max until developers can port them over. You don't interact with Rosetta 2. If it's working correctly, you'll have no idea that it's there. If you want to know how well Rosetta 2 works on ARM systems, keep an eye out for our reviews of the new MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, and Mac Mini. Apple's own apps, such as Keynote and Pages, of course, will all run natively on the new Macs at launch. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.